Hello YouTube and welcome to my tutorial for how to create your own Minecraft server. Let's just start right in. Firstly, you're going to want to download Minecraft.exe, the Minecraft client, if you don't already have that. Then, you're going to want to go down to the bottom and under Multiplayer Beta Server Software, you're going to want to download Minecraftserver.exe if you're running Windows or Minecraftserver.jar if you're running anything else. After that, just to finish up the downloads, we have two options. For other people to be able to play it, if you want um, if you want to give them your IP address you, and just have them enter that, you can do that by going to whatismyip.com and then giving them the IP that you see there. Or you can configure no IP so that you can have a subdomain like yourminecraft.noip.com or whatever. So I'm going to show you the no IP way, but otherwise you can just go to whatismyip.com and do that. So for no IP, you're going to go to no-ip.com. You're going to need to create an account and sign in with it. Then you're going to need to go to, let's see, services up at the top. Then go to, I'm sorry, don't do that. Back at no IP, you're going to want to sign in or create your account. After that, you're going to want to go to host and redirect, manage host, and then add a host. Host name, that can be whatever you want. Like it could be your Minecraft or whatever. And then pick a, or a domain for it. Any one of these will work as long as it's a free domain. I'm just going to do servegame.com. Leave everything else where it is. Your IP should be right there. The host type is all good. Leave everything where it is. Go down to the bottom and click on create host. There you see it's created. Now you need to download the client by going to download client, windows, download. Save it wherever you want. Find the file that you downloaded and run it. Agree to the terms, click next, and go through all that. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that. After that's all done, then you're going to need to firstly run that, which you can find by typing in DUC on Windows 7, and it should say that. However you do it, just run it. Mine's down here in the tray. It should pop right up, though. It's going to ask you to sign in. You need to do that. Then go to select host and make sure, that, make sure that the one that you just created is checked. Click save. Refresh now. And it should all work. Now you're going to need to run the Minecraft server that you downloaded by going to the area that you downloaded it. Like here's mine. I'm going to run the server. It's going to prepare everything. That might take five minutes or so. And I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's all done. Alright, now when it's done, it'll say done with some big, long, random number. For help, type help or question mark. So once it's done, go up to the very top of the little log that it shows you and it should say starting minecraft on server and then a port number usually it'll be 25565 so with that number then you're going to need to port forward now i made another tutorial on doing that which i'll link in an annotation down below but i'll quickly go through how to do that now so you're going to need to open the port which you can do by running command prompt hitting Windows R and then CMD, typing ipconfig, go up to the top and it should say default gateway. You're going to want that number. Usually it'll be 192.168.1.1, but mine happens to be .0.1. Either way, go into your browser and type that into the address bar. It should pop up with some kind of a modem configuration or router configuration. Now, they'll all be different user interfaces for different routers, but this is what mine looks like. 
find where it says port forward and if it asks you to log in most likely if you don't know what the login information is it'll be one of the few common ones which i'll put in the description but it'll be either it'll either be like admin and then admin one two three one two three or admin nothing or admin password or admin admin once you figured it out using the ones that i put in the description it should let you in find where it says port forwarding go to it for starting port type in that port that we got earlier 25565 ending port same thing if it asks for protocol it you can either do tcp or if it offers you the option for both do both and then for lan ip address back where we typed in ip config look for your ipv4 address and type that in there if it asks for any remote port and ip information leave that blank and click apply it should all be applied and then you're good to go now if then we need to open the port using your firewall that you have usually people just use the default um, windows firewall so that's what i'm going to be showing but if you have another firewall open that port 25565 for incoming connections so we're going to search for firewall and click on windows firewall with advanced security go to inbound rules click on new rule port tcp and then type in 25565 go next allow the connection next next for name you can type minecraft or whatever you want if you want to add a description go ahead i'm just going to type minecraft tutorial but it doesn't matter what you put there and click finish then the port is now open so you're pretty much done now you know you have your minecraft console over here with all that then you can run minecraft.exe now running it on your local com oh and of course you have to log in with your minecraft account now running it on your local computer you're gonna have to type in something different from what normal people have to type in you're gonna go to multiplayer and you can either type 127.0.0.1 or localhost either one will work now other people they'll either type in your ip if you chose to go that way or the no ip that we set up which mine was your minecraft dot serve game dot com and then click on connect oh and of course on your computer you can't type that but other people would so on your computer you would type localhost remember logging in and there you go you're in your minecraft server feel free to run around destroy things do whatever you want but remember for somebody else they'd have to they'd have to um type in your no ip or your ip so then i'll also go over a few quick commands that you have when you download the default minecraft client and you can either do them in the console or in the game but firstly, you're going to want to give yourself operator status. So type op and then your username. Hit enter. And then it should say opping you. And in the game, it will say you are now an op. Yay. Then you can spawn yourself items. I'll put a link in the description for all the item IDs. But just to give myself a random item, you can go give your name. So I wanted item ID 4. And then I wanted 64 of them. They're gonna fly out. You just run ahead and pick them up. And that works with any item. Like, give sword dude 247, 57, 64. That might be diamond. I'm not sure. Yep, that'd be diamond blocks. So I just gave myself plenty of diamond blocks. Let's see. And you can also do all these in the console. Give your name. The item ID and then the number that you want and you can copy and paste that over and over and over again and then go ahead and pick them all up 
let's see I have all that diamond another command that you can use if you're playing with other people that you know you can do TP your name and then your friend's name and that'll teleport you to your friend or TP your friend's name and then your name to get your friend teleported to you same thing in the game you just hit T for talk slash TP your name your friend's name or whatever um other commands that you have for all the commands you can just type help and then there's all the commands that you can do you can go kick and then the player name and then see you get kicked out but then I can reconnect you can ban I'm banned and then if I try and log in again I can't because I'm banned so to unban them you type pardon and then their name now I'd be able to connect um if it becomes nighttime you can change the time you can opt people de-opt them ban an IP send them a message do all that I'm assuming that you know how to do all that but anyway that is how you create a Minecraft server and have fun